It's a beautiful day outside. Today we're getting back on the road, but first, we're gonna do our first porch sitting of the season. Woo! Pulled out porch seats. The weather's finally nice enough out here. Oh, she's chugging that coffee. Oh, she's, she's all about that coffee. So we got our little guys out here. We got Wiener, Big Frank. We have a squirrel that keeps running up through here. I'm trying to scare away. I don't like that. Yeah, we're uh, we're still in the quarantine here, as are you. How's it going so far for you? I know it's not getting any better, but we'll get through it. So I got to leave on a trip today. I'm headed down to the U.S. So I got to bring some lumber down to Wisconsin, and from there. Uh, coming back up to Ontario and then back around to here. So let's Got to keep things moving. So we'll see how I feel by the time I get back I may just stay in the truck now until everything passes by but I'm gonna be super careful I'm not gonna get out of my truck for anything Anything just fueling I'm going into town today to get groceries for her while I'm gone And I'm also gonna pick up some plastic gloves for me to use at the pumps the only, you can find some. the only thing I'm really more worried about is because I need to shower when I'm on the road I'm not going to go a whole week with, uh, without a shower, so I'm, I mean, I could, I could, I could just, uh, then again, you, I was just going to say you could get a lot of wipes, but you can't find those anywhere either. <laughs> so my, my only worry is when I go and use the showers, they're, they're supposed to sanitize them and disinfect them between every person, but all you need is one lazy employee to not quite disinfect properly. But that's why I'm just going to... I'll probably take my own... Dis I'm going to disinfect all the surfaces I touch in there myself. Like all the like the, the sink and everything and the shower handle. Yeah, I'll disinfect them. I'll be like extra super careful like that. And then hopefully we can... Uh, hopefully we can be alright, but we got to go out there into the big scary world. But the family's safe at home. You're a good man. So there is a little bit of sad news as well. Uh, I'm going to be going out alone. On this trip i've gone alone without diesel a couple of times on some short trips uh not very often i haven't gone very far but until this whole thing is over and things go back to normal diesel's going to be staying at home with brit i'm sad for you but it's it's the smartest decision for diesel anyways yeah and if i'm just worried you know if god forbid the worst happens let's say and i were to get sick on the road and suddenly find myself in a hospital we don't like talking about that but we have to think about it because we're adults we have to realistic. we have to be realistic if the worst happens what would happen to diesel where would they put him they're not gonna let me cross the border to go get him yeah well what if it's in the u.s yeah then you can't even cross the border to go get him no. and i don't want to think about what they're gonna do because all the dog pounds down there are probably pretty full so let's not think about that let's just leave diesel at home where he's safe and also, uh, I don't know how tight the border security is right now and if it's going to get any tighter. Because right now they're going to let me through because I'm essential, apparently. But I'm going to keep the economy moving. I'm going to keep trucking. But are they going to get a little bit more, you know, sticky with bringing pets across? Because they could be carriers. Who knows? I don't want to suddenly... Maybe maybe they'll let me into the U.S. Because they they know me at the u.s border here and i don't know if they're they're allowing pets into the u.s or not but if they are what if i get into the u.s with him and then canada isn't letting pets back into canada well now i'm stuck in the u.s and i can't bring diesel home there's a million different scenarios where it could all go wrong and then diesel's left not cared for so mm -hmm. regardless he's on weaselcation now yep early retirement for now a covidcation a covidcation <laughs> yeah just to make light of the situation, I'm not <laughs> I know it's not a joke, guys. But, so, uh, I'm gonna be alone. It'll be something very different. It, it might be a little bit relaxing, because I, I don't have to worry about him so much. Yeah. I can maybe just focus, focus on, on me. I, I've never done this. Since I've been over the road, since I've been over the road, it's been almost nine years now. Diesel's been with me right from the beginning. I've never not had Diesel with me. Well, there's been a couple where you've brought Chevy instead, and then there was one trip 
where you went to Alberta where you left all the boys home with me. But yeah. it was very short, so. Yeah, that was a short one where I was by myself. And if I didn't have Diesel with me, I had Chevy with me. Yeah. So this is going to be for the next indefinite amount of time, at least three weeks. They say they're expecting this to peak from about 21 days from today. I think the news started playing again. I think it, our TV is possessed, I'm sure of it. I there's, paused the news. A small TV demon. Every morning I watch the, the Prime Minister's broadcast and just sort of get the news of what's new and what's happening. And I paused it to come out here and it looks like it just started playing on its own and I can hear it in there. It does that. It's very important news. It's, I must notify you! No! Yeah, it's telling the dogs inside. <laughs> Diesel Chevy probably. and Diesel just watching the news. Oh my goodness! <laughs> They're probably... Everybody panic! We haven't told them yet. <laughs> like, why has nobody told me? <laughs> this is serious! <laughs> you mom and dad know? Uh, you gotta try and laugh, right? But we've been hearing lots of bad stories out there, so I hope that it's not affecting, affecting all of you two personally, though I know it probably will at one point or another. So... Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my coffee. Might even go get another one. Yeah, I'm I'm low. Look at that. Look oh. at that dire situation. Oh no. And it's cold. Oh no. And I'm not done porch sitting yet. Me neither. No. We gotta take turns though, because even though the Frankies are being very good boys, we can't leave them alone out here because we're not irresponsible pet owners. <laughs> what if a coyote came? They could yeah. eat both of them in one bite. Our dogs are never outside by themselves. Ever. Not ever. Not for a second. Nope. We always have eyes on them, so they, they stay really close by. I wish other people would uh, watch their dogs a little closer, but we can only do what we can do for ourselves. Anyways, okay, so uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my morning here. I'm going to get ready to leave, and then I'll talk to you once we're in the truck all packed up and uh, headed to the trailer. The coffee's low. Everybody panic! Can you get me coffee too, please? This is not a drill. Please, can you yeah, refill? Sure. Refill. Thank you. You're welcome. What a wife. What a husband. One more thing quickly before we pack up the truck and get ready to go. I got to get groceries for Britt. So she's at home and I'm out here on grocery duty. We're here at the superstore. See what they have left on their shelves today. And I've got a list. I have one job. Let's not mess this up. You guys probably experienced the same thing at your local grocery store, but that was a little bit intense. They've upped the they upped the measures, the safety levels a little bit. We all had to wait in line and they only allowed a certain amount of customers inside Walmart at a time. So the rest of us had to wait outside and they had a employee going up and down the line ensuring that everybody stays six feet apart. If they don't keep everybody six feet apart, the government's going to shut them down and then nobody gets to go into Walmart. So they, they were pretty strict on it. They were going up and down. They were getting the teenagers to separate because they didn't want to stand six feet apart. It says, even if you're shopping together, you have to maintain social distancing. And in the store, they would go around making sure that everybody, even if they're shopping together, is staying at least six feet apart. Uh, then I went to the pet store to get some pet food just to stock up a little bit for the dogs. Uh, and even there, they only allowed two people in the store at a time. Everybody else had to wait in line outside six feet apart. And uh, then you were guided into the store. You could only go up to the cash register, tell them what you needed. They went into the store, brought it out, wiped the bag down for you, wiped down the counter where you, where you were doing your transaction. And then you could leave. And when you left, the next customer could come in. It's unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life. It's crazy. It's totally, I totally understand why. But I have never lived through anything like this. I don't think my parents or even my grandparents have ever lived through a pandemic like this. The last pandemic like this was the Spanish flu. And that was in 1918. So my Opa, my dad's dad, would have been born around that time. I think he was born in 1919. He's already passed on though, so he wouldn't even remember that. It would have been my great-grandparents that lived through the Spanish flu. So no one alive today has ever experienced anything like this. So it's at least not in our part of the world was new and I do believe I'm just gonna move up in the I'm gonna line up here to get a car wash because you know priorities global pandemic gotta make sure my truck is clean <laughs> I 
I actually do that to maintain this truck so that uh, it lasts because this truck sits in the garage a lot of the time. I don't want it sitting there full of salt and dirt and rusting away on me. So just getting a truck wash quickly and then going home. Loading up the semi. Heading out there into the big bad world. It's interesting. It's a very interesting one. But another 21 days from when I'm making this video. Another 21 days till we're expected to reach our peak and then we're hoping that it'll start going down. That's what, three weeks yet? That is still gonna keep getting worse. But I promised you guys I wasn't gonna just be talking about the virus in my vlogs anymore. Let's talk about something else. Uh, this next load I'm taking down to Wisconsin is lumber. So someone in lumber, uh, someone in lumber, someone in Wisconsin still wants our lumber. So I'm gonna go bring it to them. And then from there I have a load coming out of Gary, Indiana. I'm not too sure what it is. I think it's utility trailers. I think that's what we pick up there, but it, it could be anything. And that's taking me to Toronto, one of the epicenters of Canada right now. But again, we're not gonna talk about that. It's hard not to, right? Cause it's all you hear everywhere you go. Uh, we're gonna go to Toronto and then drop that load off. And then I have another load waiting for me in St. Catharines, Ontario, that's taking me to Alberta, back across here to home. So it's a week trip till I'll be back. I'll be back home next weekend. I do have some like uh, some masks to take with me, but they're not the, the N95 masks that the healthcare workers need. This is just sort of like a, a drywall mask. It's not supposed to do anything. Uh, I don't think it would even help, but I may wear it just when I'm outside the truck in Toronto. I don't know. Once again, it's very hard not to talk about this virus. I'm sorry. Let's talk about trucking. So I got a quote on the truck that I, uh, that I want to buy, the W900, and it's not too bad. Uh, I still want to add some stuff to it, but we're sitting at about $233,000 right now. So we're talking like this is going to be a post-pandemic purchase. So once this is all over, maybe we can get into this Kenworth after a while. But I want to see where the world takes me first. I got to stop talking though, because it's very hard to talk about anything else than what's just going through the news nonstop 24-7. Let's just end it here, okay? I got groceries for my wife. She's going to be fine while I'm gone. Got food for the dogs. They're gonna be fine while I'm gone. Diesel's staying at home. It's just me going out there. They got enough food, they'll be fine. The house is clean, they'll be safe. Uh, I saw a great meme on uh, Facebook that says, <clears throat> you're not stuck at home, you're safe at home. And so they're safe at home. I'm gonna go out there and uh, take care of business. I'm gonna take you with me. Hope you're ready for this. It's gonna get pretty crazy. I'll see you when I'm getting into the truck. Well, here we are. Just me and you guys, no weasel. I haven't even cleaned up back there yet, don't look. Usually I'd clean it up so that diesel doesn't step all over my stuff, right? But don't worry, I won't let myself get lazy. <laughs> I'm actually gonna clean this truck up real good this trip because now I can get in everywhere, get all the dog hair out and not have it fill up right away. And I'll have a little bit more time because I don't have to walk him every day. He'll be fine at home, but uh, we're just hooked up to our trailer right now. It's a step deck, it's got some lumber on it, and it's going to Warren's, Wisconsin. Let's go tie it down and let's get on the road. So this is it right here. What do we got? This is 16 foot? No. What is that? That's two by six by 16 foot. Yeah. I... Oh, and we got the triaxle. You know what that means. That load that we're picking up in Ontario, that steel, it's going to be heavy. It's gonna be heavy. Oh boy. All right. Well, but it's it's also gonna be heavy in the wallet if you know what I mean So I'm perfectly fine with that. I'll take every nickel I can get I guess I can put my tarps right down in there, too Surprised they wouldn't put a What's the word I'm thinking of right now guys can't think of it. Mm. You know what I mean Surprised they wouldn't put one in here, but I guess it I Guess it's fine just the way it is Right, this is the way it came all the way from Alberta. Yeah, so I'll put my tarps under there. They'll be nice and safe. Got a little shelter of their own. How nice. I'm going to pull this on down to Warren's. Avoiding as many people as we can. Secluding ourselves in our truck. <laughs> so we're here in Rothsay, Minnesota. Down in the USA. I've stopped here quite a few times for for night. Some of my favorite stops. 
I'm going to go to the back though, because apparently everybody figures that they should park right up at the front. This guy's parked in the driveway. Okay. It's cool. We can still get through. Usually people would park here when everything else is full, but when you come back here, it's like the whole parking lot's empty, but everybody's parked at the front. Oh well, what can you do, right? What can you do? I'm gonna go and park off all by myself out here somewhere. I'll talk to you guys in a bit once I'm parked. I'm just sending away my end of day paperwork. You have one hours and 52 minutes of remaining drive time. Nah, I'm done. I am tired. It is 2.30 in the morning. It's time to go to bed. I'm not going to be able to move from here until afternoon tomorrow. Uh. Oh, shut that down. Shut this down. Turn the volume off on that in case I get some messages. Turn Karen off. Put her to bed. Good night, Karen. Turn the satellite radio off. Turn that off. Okay. So I've got to go back there and set up my bed now. It's going to be really weird this whole trip, like I've been saying, being out here without diesel. But at least, you know, if anything happens, he's safe at home with Britt and with everyone else. So it is what it is. I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Crossing the border, if you're wondering, wasn't really any different than usual for the most part. I mean, they asked a few more questions at the window, where the freight came from, where it was going, and then they sent me through the x-ray machine where I gotta go into the building, get out of the truck, and then they x-ray the load and everything in the truck, make sure that I'm not, I don't know, smuggling people or something. Whatever they're looking for, whatever they're looking for, they didn't find anything because they let me go. I got nothing to hide. And so we're here in the USA now as an essential worker. Never felt so special. I'm going to go and take my special butt back there and have a very special sleep. There's essential work to be done tomorrow. I hope, I hope I'll see you there. Don't forget to subscribe to this uh, channel here on YouTube, Trucker Josh Vlogs. You can also find me on BitChute. And uh, I don't, I'm not very active there, but you can find me there if you want to. My, my main activity is over on YouTube, uh, Trucker Josh Vlogs. You'll find me there. So hit the like button if you did like it. Hit the thumbs down button if you didn't like it. I hope you guys are all being safe. I hope you all are healthy. And I'll see you tomorrow.